Good day, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Runner Beer Review. Today, we are going to be drinking Rickard's White. Rickard's White is a 5.4% alcohol white beer. It is brewed by Molson. Molson owns Rickard's. Uh, Rickard's is most famous for Rickard's Red. Uh, if you watch the commercials, it's a bunch of monks and humming and all that, and people fighting over the last pint of Rickard's Red. I don't mind many Rickards products. I really like Rickards Dark. I'm okay with Rickards Red. Rickards Honey Brown, I'm not a big fan of. White. The Rickards White's a good choice if you don't want to pay the money for Hogarden or anything else. Most white beers have most of the same tendencies. I'm not going to be using a orange slice. I like to get the beers in their natural form. Uh, I will say right off the bat, Rickard's White does taste a lot better with that orange slice squeezed into it. Let's see what she's like, though. Dumping her into my Budweiser NFL cup once more. So, just like every wheat or white that anybody's really ever had made for them, it's opaque. It's a opaque goldish color. Um, sort of like unpolished brass. Nothing's floating in there, so though it's unfiltered, they did filter out the biggest chunks. A little bit ahead, it's fading now. It doesn't it doesn't look horrible. I mean you put it in a thinner thinner Pilsner glass, which is what I've usually had them served in, and put the orange slice up on top and it's actually a pretty looking beer when it's given to you. Uh, you can't you can't really complain with the look, I mean it's what you expect from white. It's a little bit darker than some of the white beers that I've had. Um, again, Rickards just started making whites a few years back, three or four, I think, to to keep up with the Hoe Garden and, and all that. Keith also started making a white mostly because Rickards was making a white. Mill Street makes a white. Yeah, everybody makes a wheat beer of some type at some point. It's every. It's just like lime beers. They're they're coming out of the woodwork now. I mean, uh, I'll give Rickards props. It's it's stayed around for a while, which means it's actually somewhat okay. I need to get a better door. It has a very good nose. I'll give it that. through the bottle, you get a lot of coriander, mostly because of the small neck space that's coming up and the fact that you can make and force every scent to go into your nose, especially if you have a big nose like me. There's a little bit of spruce on there, there's a little bit of orange peel, uh, there's a tiny bit of hops and malt on there, but really your main sense you're getting with this is spruce coriander and orange. Can't say it's a bad thing. I mean, the spruce is different. You you normally get a spiciness of some type. The spiciness of spruce is kind of interesting in the nose. Whether or not it'll be interesting on the taste buds, we'll soon find out. There's, there's more carbonation moving in this than I'm used to, too. I mean, I have to hold it up to my face, really, to see it. But there is more carbonation moving in this glass than I'm used to with the nice white beers. Really, it's a pretty good white. Uh, you drink it in, right away you get the coriander and the orange, and those really stay through the whole drink. As it's moving through the back of your throat, you get a sprucey spiciness to it. Then, once you swallow it, you get like a bitter orange. 
taste. It's mostly like you bit an orange peel. And that's really the beer. I mean, after that bitter orange peel finish, it kind of fades to nothing. And you can't really complain about it. I mean, it fades to nothing. Sure, you might want something better than fading to nothing, but it's, it's good. It doesn't leave a dirty taste in your mouth. It doesn't leave a grimy feeling on your teeth. It kind of finishes and you're just ready for whatever is next. Really, Molson did good. You can get this on its own as just a pack of whites. You can get it in the red and white pack, which is Rickard's Red and Rickard's White. Or you can get it in one of the two taster packs. One of the tasters comes with Rickard's Dark. One of them comes with the Rickard's Honey Brown. Uh, if you're going to buy the Rickard's Taster Pack, the 12 pack, it comes with four of each. I would go personally with the one with Rickard's Dark. It's not a horrible beer. Give it a try if you haven't and you like whites. It, it had to grow on me, though. To tell you the truth, the first time I drank a Rickard's White, I, I didn't like it. It took me about three or four bottles before I actually started appreciating it before the actual flavor started coming out. I've noticed that with a lot of things. A lot of things where if you drink something that's really, really good. Say you drink a really, really, really good coffee porter. Every coffee porter you have after that is going to take you a few, few bottles to get into. Just because you're going to have to start seeing it for something other than a competition with one you've drank that you really love. Uh, I've had that problem with some beers. I mean, there are some that I have reviewed, and I've gone back before I posted the review and done another review after a few bottles. Six out of ten. Thank you for watching the Albino Rainer Beer Review. Good beer drinking to you. And have yourselves a very, very good day right now. So a very good day.